we've seen so many things and people, interesting places. And by the way, I'm so grateful to the French American Society because it was very, um, you know, it makes a lot of ideas come up and, and uh, desire to bring all this energy back to France and to my students and share this, this experience. And as for uh, our education, um, um, what I think that French, French education uh, before high school lacks a lot, and I have to deal with this among my students because I'm, I teach interior design in first year and third year, but I am also responsible for a prep school. And the students I have just graduated, and they have you know, this in, in, in France, in, in, in uh, school before high school, uh, critical uh, thinking is not at all uh, uh, focused on. It's very much uh, an indication that's focused on knowledge, which I think is very interesting and, and necessary, but uh, the students I the, you know, the students that I arrive and that I, I deal with, uh, feel very um, shy about expressing personal uh, opinions uh, and it's totally necessary in art studies to uh, ask questions and express personal um, opinion and uh, experiment and so it's, it's like there's a whole lot of um, is a work to do to um, uh, allow them to feel comfortable and confident to express, you know, um, their own ideas. And this in the U.S. is very different. And I think in uh, art, what art education could provide, uh, what does provide, um, is this um, uh, liberty of expressing. What I, I say in France, we have this what I call the you know the cartel, the little. A uh, little label that's next to the piece of work. Like in front, we have this. Uh, we, we would go read what's written first. Say, who's the author? What year was it produced? And this and that. Where does it come from? And then maybe look at it. As in the U.S., you would look at the work and and say, oh, it makes me feel like this. Or I can notice like the colors you know, match them this way, and then maybe see, ah, oh, so that's the author. See what I mean, that in the way that we interact with art. And uh, personally, having this, uh, this is two-year degree in, in biology, I think science and art is very, very connected, uh, especially in the, the process. You, I mean, imagining, uh, having innovative ideas, imagining things that don't, don't already exist, can come by intuition or just you know getting an extraordinary idea just you know magically, but it is this is very rare. Most of the time, it's a process, and you have similar processes that can apply for science and, and art. So, as regarding to this week, um, um, I've also, of course, noticed that a lot of um, interest now here is oriented towards um, uh, uh, social innovation and, uh, um, and giving back to the communities and, and the diversity, especially in New York. And I think that for sure art is a way of, I mean, it's, it is words and intentions, but how does it uh, really happen? In the real world, and uh, I think art is something that people react to, whatever their um, income or cultural background. And if you play some music, this is something that you know speaks to the soul or even the body. And and I think it's a very um, effective way of um, getting in touch with uh, people that can have a very different background. Than